One question that we get asked a lot is whether there is a correlation between sugar and the risk of developing cancer or cancer progression. And it's really not a simple answer. Uh, you know, we know that cancers feed on sugar, but so does every cell in your body. Um, we really think that it's actually more of an indirect relationship between sugar and cancer. And that is that sugar makes you fat. And when you have too much sugar, you put on weight, and then that obesity, that fat tissue that's in your midsection, is a very inflammatory type of fat. And when, when you develop more of that fat, you develop more of these proteins called cytokines, which are inflammatory uh, proteins that can stimulate inflammation across the body. And that is one of the factors that potentially can stimulate the growth or developments of cancer. Additionally, the fat in your midsection also produces a lot of estrogen. And estrogen can serve as a cancer growth factor for tumors that, that, um, that are sensitive to estrogens. So that's something that uh, is also well known. Um, additionally, there may be some uh, decrease in terms of the immune status due to large amounts of sugar um, that actually can suppress the immune system. So these are indirect effects of sugar uh, and not a direct correlation between sugar actually you know, feeding the cancer directly. So uh, I would say that the best thing is just don't get fat. You can have a little bit of sugar, of course, in your diet, just not a lot. For example, not a lot like most people consume the standard American diet. Do you know that not every breast cancer patient needs chemotherapy? Now there's a way to decide if chemotherapy will benefit you based on the unique biology of your tumor. To learn more about the Oncotype DX test and how to discuss it with your doctor, click this button.